Meghan's face turned red when she learned that Charles's invitation to the coronation brought more disadvantages. Go or not is still in big trouble. Hello, friends. Welcome to the breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. At this moment in time, Harry and Meghan remain members of the royal family, but according to media reports, they are making their money by making so many unsubstantiated claims against the royal family who have mostly been ignoring them. The royal family has really only responded on two occasions. So first, the late queen famously said, recollections may vary. And also, of course, when he began his reign, the king wished them a successful life overseas. Now, the fact is, I'm an American, so I feel like I can say this, but the fact is, in the UK, they use many more subtleties in language than we do in the US. It could be because way back in the day, Americans introduced their simplified version to help their immigrants with the language. Now, the king is welcome to invite whoever he wants to to celebrate his coronation, and they're going to be invited by family, friends, and dignitaries from various countries and organizations. On both personal and diplomatic levels, he is the leader of the UK and 14 other countries, and he's head of the Commonwealth as well. Now, if he wants to, he can include family members in his coronation. To extend an invitation to his younger son shows at a personal level that they are family, but they don't have any role whatsoever in the way the monarchy operates because they walked away from that. So at the end of the day, they can either accept or reject the invitation to the coronation. And if they're invited, they cannot whine that they were snubbed by the king. If they accept the invitation, then they might be treated as non-working family members because that's exactly what they are. Now, complaints on their behalf would be viewed by so many as sour grapes or them just throwing a little fit like a spoiled child because they were invited to an adult's event to discover that, you know what, they wouldn't be the center of attention. And it seems like the king has arranged the ceremony in a break from previous coronations. He's trying to slim down the more ancient traditions, and that would give Harry a chance, if he wants to attend, to do so as a non-working family member. So in fact, it looks like he wouldn't have to pledge allegiance to the monarch after all. Harry could just continue on with his independent life outside of the family, and he does not need to participate in the activities he has previously found too difficult to perform. Now, in that situation, Harry would have to face up to not having any influence whatsoever when it comes to his family, and also the whole world would probably be able to see that. So in conclusion, Harry is invited. He can't complain of being snubbed. He refuses to come. Well, that's his choice, and everybody's going to know that it was his decision. He comes, but is seated with the non-working family members who are not active in supporting the monarch. Well, because, yeah, Harry left that role a few years ago. And Harry is not required to personally commit to the monarch. And that will be noted that he has not committed to supporting the monarch, so future public comments are definitely going to be viewed as his personal opinion only. If he comes, he still has the prestige of being there personally, which seems to mean a lot to him. But unlike his older brother, he's not going to participate in the ceremony other than being an observer. And outside of the ceremony, maybe he's going to have to face the people of the UK voicing their opinion of him. He might have to face some private conversations with family members too, or they might ignore him altogether. And although it's never going to happen, I think that rather than booze, silence with people just turning their backs to him would be a much more important symbol. That would show him how much people disapprove of him. And he couldn't blame that on the media in any future interviews. One commenter weighed in, saying, I have gone from being affirmed, no, absolutely not. Why should those traitors, narcissists, vile creatures be invited to an event that isn't anything to do with them, especially after all they've done and said, to actually, maybe they should come. At least we'll all know where they are. Who knows, maybe King Charles III and other royal family members and even their teams have devised a plan for them, like the Queen so brilliantly executed with her jubilee. Keep your enemies closer kind of thing. So I hope they do come to the coronation, to be honest. As much as no one wants to see them or even hear about them, there's less chance of them pulling some bullshit under the watchful eyes of the palace personnel, etc. than there is in La La Land. 
Harry and Meghan have made themselves a massive security risk, as also the royal family from the Taliban and jihadist groups who support them. They had to have talked and come up with this information with the assumption that the UK High Court would issue them as people needing IPP status from the security services at the cost of the taxpayers. This just proves that Harry wanted the taxpayers to pay during the Jubilee visit, so he lied about paying it all by themselves. That was nothing but PR. Honestly, it would be fair if they were arrested at the airport for treason. I mean, they have done horrible things both to the late queen and the current monarchy too. And under the Official Secrets Act, because Harry gave details of locations of sleeping quarters in three separate residences. Meghan and Harry want to be ordinary people? All right, well, they should be treated as such. And they shouldn't be examined under diplomatic immunity of prosecution. If not, somebody needs to strip search both of them and they need to take away those recording devices before they even enter the parliament room where the crowning is going to occur. To be fair, there is much a distraction from events whether they're there or whether they're back in Montecito. And then another commenter weighed in saying, I hope they come just so they hear what the people actually think about them. Make sure you have a nice clear voice that day. The dimwits are up to something, since every time they go quiet, something else happens. There have been reports they want to move back to the UK. However, with them appearing at the coronation, we the people can make our feelings totally understood, even by them. Hmm. Yeah, if they do attend, then all of this needs to be taken into consideration, and I'm guessing it would be. Now, what should happen is immediate arrest when they come to the airport, but we all know that's never going to happen. Regardless, though, they should be stripped of all devices, including their cell phones, because they are not to be trusted. There need to be some firm rules and guidelines put into place, or else I'm afraid things are going to go off once Meghan and Harry come. Or, you know, even if they stay in the U.S., they're going to cause problems if they can. And I don't think anybody other than King Charles himself, Queen Camilla, William and Catherine, the Prince and Princess of Wales, and also, of course, their kids, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis are going to be allowed anywhere close to the balcony. And it is a shame that the whole royal family cannot join the newly crowned king and queen to celebrate their love, their pride, their affection after the coronation of King Charles and Queen Camilla. Those were always beautiful photos, seeing the extended family all up there together. But thanks to the dastardly duo, I don't think we'll ever get to see this again in our lifetimes. What do you think of Harry and Meghan agree to return to the royal family to congratulate Charles on becoming king? What problems will they face? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you have found this video helpful. And don't forget to leave us a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be back to see you in the next videos. Bye-bye now.